Hey guys, so while I was making the video about the call list uh, feature in Business Contact Manager, I figured why not go over to the mass mail. Um, so right now I'm actually rendering my other video, I'm producing it. And let me go on forward and show you guys the mass mail feature in marketing. So I'm in Business Contact Manager and again I'm using a sample database here and I have about 10 people here, uh, 10 leads. And suppose that I want to email, mass email, send a bunch of emails out to all these leads directly from Business Contact Manager. Um, email is a really powerful tool where we can introduce uh, promotions, features, um, new services, new products, and things of that nature. So, uh, of course, we can always click on a person and then click on email and then have the email pop open and we can move on and create an email and send it. But that's not what I want to do because now I have 10 people and I want to send a brand new promotion to all of them. So let's say these leads all received phone calls. Uh, in my previous example, you'll see that um, under marketing, I went and we created a call list over here. And suppose I have an employee named John and John's list was to call all these people. Now I want to do round two of the, the whole marketing bomb. Um, they all got the first initial phone call based on this calling list. Now it's time to send all of them emails because they need to read. Uh, you want to keep bombing them uh, with information until you close them. You want to get their business. So a phone call sometimes is not enough. Whether they asked for an email or not, most people, most companies would say, all right, let's shoot them an email over anyway. Um, now, don't do this with lists that you purchased uh, because, you, you know, you're basically spamming and, and that's not really the way to do it. What we want to do is we want to only do this with leads uh, that we actually met or have acquired through uh, other uh, customers or leads that we acquired on our own. So on the mass email front right here, uh, this tab, mass email on under marketing and business contact manager, I'm going to right click and choose new mass email, just click on the new mass email button on the ribbon. Um, and the same window from call list will pop up saying, all right, who are going to be the people you're going to be sending the information to? So I have a bunch of sample people here. And again, I can always filter this. I could always say, um, you know, show me only contacts whose name begins with W or show me only leads who uh, interest uh, level is three instead of one. Show, show me only leads in California or in New York or in Florida. You can filter this and you can have a different type of criteria. Um, Suppose that during our call list, some of our leads expressed no interest in anything at all. So we may not want to email them. Um, but because emailing is free, why not? <laughs> but suppose we only want to hit people who, based on the initial call, uh, showed some interest. We can filter this to only show the leads that showed some interest. And then we can go in here and say, uh, all right, let's name this promotional offer, for example. Uh, and uh, this is going to be a current activity campaign, and we're going to be using the Outlook editor to create the message. And the email subject is going to be um, Elon's, well, that's me, my name is Elon, hi, uh, Elon's promotional offer. And I'm going to click on the Create button right here, uh, and we're going to create a nice email over here saying, hi, this is my promotional offer, dot, dot, dot. And we can insert pictures and all kinds of good stuff. I mean, we can completely like uh, uh, make a really, 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 really beautiful thing here with photos or online pictures, shapes, smart art. You have the whole Microsoft Office, a slew of features and illustrations and diagrams. And, you know, <coughs> most people just go into Photoshop and they create a nice, um, you know, a nice graphical promotion. Or uh, some people open up Dreamweaver and create a website-based offer in HTML. Uh, and paste it in here and it's going to look really cool. Uh, but this is my promo promotional offer content. So my message is done. I'm going to save and close this message. Now that we have the uh, message done, it's already created. See the create button turned to an edit button because we can just edit this message in the future. Uh, now we're ready to actually launch and send this. So when I click the launch button, you'll see what just happened. It is sending 10 messages using my primary email. So if I check my email right now, and here, let me actually go on my iPhone because that's where everything comes first before anything else. And I just got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 promotional offers. <laughs> and it worked. So the email blast works. So this is an email blast technique uh, that you can use that integrates directly within Business Contact Manager. And here, here is the very cool part. When someone actually emails back, it's going to attach their email response to their record. So let's open up one of our people here, one of our recipients here that we have done this. Um, let's open up uh, Leah Woods and let's look at her history.
if you look at our history, uh, you'll see that well, everyone is sharing the same email. All these people in my sample database have the same email. So you'll see here that the email message is tracked. That they received a promotional offer. In this case, it's showing every single contact. But if I had individual emails per person, uh, you'll see that uh, only one email will be here. All right, so moving forward, she received my promotional offer email. Um, if she were to respond to that email, it would actually come in as a history item as well and in my inbox. So I have a record of that. I also see that she was a part of this campaign and I'm able to see whether this campaign produced or not produced, uh, which is really cool tracking ability uh, that BCM has to offer. Uh, you'll see here that John called her of the John, John's List uh, call list. Uh, he made the initial phone call. I shortly after added her to a campaign, I sent her an email, uh, and now I'm awaiting a response or a phone call. And when I do, uh, all I gotta do is just note here that she called based on this response. So this is a really, really cool thing, cool feature. It just literally shot 10 emails out to these 10 contacts uh, who all happen to have my email address because they are samples, of course. Um, and I'm gonna mark this activity now as closed, meaning it is done, it is finished. And when I go over to analysis, um, you'll be able to see that uh, the promotion offer is now done. Um, the call list is done as well. Uh, so this is really, really awesome thing to have. You can actually use this mass email to all your contacts and all your leads. You can send out promotional offers, new offers, new um, offers, new services, which you're able to render for them. Um, you know, it's just uh, easy, free way. I mean, direct mail would cost you a lot more money. If I went to uh, direct mail and I cre created a brand new direct mail print, that would be associated with a cost. Um, I would be able to actually put in a cost in here and determine how much money have I spent, how much money have I earned based on this, and I'm able to show reports. That's a whole other story. Uh, mass emails could have a cost as well. Um, see, this particular campaign is now closed, so I can't edit it. Let me save it again as a open uh, activity and in track. I can also associate a cost here. Uh, but I don't want to associate a cost over here. You'll see here the del a delivery status that everything was sent. Um, you know, even in the call list, we have such feature too. It's something I didn't show in the other video and I really wanted to. Um, when you track what happened, you'll be able to see uh, a list here. But it's not really what I want to do. I want to focus this video on mass emails. Um, so going back into the mass mail, and I could put in details for this particular thing, uh, the start date, the end date, the budget. But again, emails rarely have a budget because they're free to create unless you go and you hire someone to create a creative for you. Uh, and then the associated cost will be what you paid someone to create the email. In most cases, you can do this on your own. Um, so that's really, really a, a awesome ability. Uh, that BCM has to offer, and this integrates throughout BCM as a whole, meaning anything you do here will appear in the history of these particular people. Very, very, very cool uh, feature, uh, and a very, very awesome thing to have, especially if you're marketing on your own, if you're not using a third-party um, marketer if, with, within your own office, if you're a small business, for example. This is a really awesome tool of choice uh, to get in touch with these folks. And then when they email you back, take me off the list, you could just remove them. Now keep in mind that if there's no email, they cannot be added to this list. Uh, prerequisite for being even eligible to be on a recipient list for a mass blast for emails is to have an email address. So if one of these contacts email address will be blank, it would not even be able to appear in this list. So keep that in mind. Uh, and that's it. So here, let me go here and mark this as closed because it is a completed activity. And that's what I wanted to show you guys. So there you have it, mass mail through BCM to either contacts, accounts, or leads, uh, and the mass mail could be anything. And I'll end the video with that. Thank you very, very much for watching. Bye.